Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? Good, good, how are you? Fine, thank you. You changed the look? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, your hair is red. Red? Um, no. No, it's actually copper. Ah, maybe uh, for the light, I see red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very intense copper. Do you know ah. copper? Sorry? Do you know the, the, the color copper? It's like a, a, a dark red, maybe? No. No, copper in Spanish is um, cobris, co cobre, cobre. Cobre. Ah, okay. That's right. Yeah, so it's a copper. But you look good. You look young. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, just a little bit of change. I, I wanted to do something different. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I decided it's hey, good. Something. It's good. Something new. Yeah, I think it's good to change. Um, you know, once in a while, I think it's it's important to, you know, do something a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. How about how about you? Um, do you do you ever do you ever change your hair color? No, uh, eh, I eh, tengo un poco de temor, and and I never I never tint my my hair. You've never dyed your hair? No, <laughs> never. Oh, really? Never? So it's virgin hair. Yes, exactly. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, all right. Yes, exactly. Okay. But the the my friend uh, tell me that the color of my hair is it's nice. So, uh, what is your hair color? It's um, uh, cenizo. Oh, ash. Mm hmm. It's a it, when you say that it's it's ash, you mean like um, it's ash because that is the tone of your hair, or do you are you starting to get gray hair? Mm, I don't understand. Okay. Um. What I'm saying is, it, you say that it's it's ash, right? Um, color ceniza, right? It's yeah. ash. Uh -huh. So when you say that, um, it's ash. Are you, is it because, um, is it because that is the tone of the hair or is it because um, you're getting gray hair? What is gray hair? Gray hair, do you, anybody remember what is gray hair? We, we've talked gray, about this gray, before. Gray. And also. I know, no, it's the tone of my hair. Uh, let me show you. I, I am uh, a little despeinada, but I... I oh, that's okay. You. Don't worry. I am, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Mm. Yes, yes. I, I, I can see a little bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just talk. asking because, um, like, um, the getting gray hair has nothing to do with with um, with your um, it has nothing to do with your your age like for example me I started getting gray hair when I was 20 years old I was 20 years old when I started getting gray hair and it's because it's genetic my my father he started getting gray hair at 17 and my mother at 30 so I, so I have, yeah, I have lots of genetic of genes. So can you imagine? So I got, I started getting gray hair at 20. Wow. It's amazing. No, my father and my mother, uh, they uh, have uh, 16. Uh, yes, 60? 16? No, 60. Sixty. Because sixteen is the six. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, Sixty years old, and they 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 don't have a 
gray in your hair. My, uh, the, the hair of my mom is black, 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 black. And my father is the same color of my, of my hair, so. Wow, yeah, see, <laughs> the genes are different, you know. Yeah, some people never, never, ever get gray hair and they're like 80 years old and they still got, don't have gray hair. So, you know, that, that's why I'm saying. Okay. Uh, gray hair doesn't really have to do with with age it's just genes yeah. right and, and of course there are there is i mean yes um as you grow older you have more of a of a chance of getting gray hair but it's not just that you know there are many many different reasons why you could um get gray hair yeah. <laughs> anyways um how is everybody? Let me say hi to everybody. How are you? Que calladitos han venido hoy. Hello, teacher. Hi, you Carla. beautiful new look. <laughs> yes, Carla. Yes. <laughs> We, yeah, I was, I was telling Karin, just a little bit of change. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, that's what I say. I, I say that it's good to have a little bit of change. I think it's healthy. It's healthy to have a change. Yeah, so I just wanted to have something different. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Um, so You're very good. Look. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, I, I wasn't very sure, to be honest. I, I wasn't very sure. Uh, but, you know, I decided that it was something I wanted to try. So hopefully it it um, it looked good. <laughs> yeah. And how was your weekend? Fine. My weekend was fine. Good evening. It was great. Good evening, Anna. Oh, thank you very I am, much. I am late. Oh, that's okay, Anna. But I, I'm just happy that you were able to, to join us, right? So it's okay. Um, so tell me, how was your weekend? Tell, let me know. What was your weekend like? Uh, I, you, I. You had a good weekend? Yes, uh, good. Uh, I I went to the supermarket. Uh, I visited uh, my daughter uh, in the night Saturday. Uh, I went to the church. I I I cook uh, meat and rice. Uh, lunch, uh, the lunch. So uh, in Sunday, uh, in, in the night, uh, I in the afternoon I I take a nap. Uh, only that. That was on Saturday, and on Sunday. On Sunday, uh, 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 no. On Sunday, uh, I went to the church. Church. Uh, in the afternoon, uh, I I I read uh, a book. I uh, study English. I studied. Studied. Studied English. Studied English. Oh, very good! Wow, very very applied. I like that. Very very dedicated student, Anna. <laughs> Okay, good. Anybody did anything interesting and exciting on the weekend? I don't do many different things. Um, always I wake, I clean, I give a breakfast at my husband, and I take care of my child. And the Sundays, don't cook. <laughs> 
Okay, so you are on a strike on 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 Sundays. Yes. <laughs> a strike. You, do you understand what a strike is? Uh, like a relax. Desentendido. Uh, no. A, a strike is actually uh, what happens when you when, for example, the workers in a job they don't like the working conditions, so they they protest and they say we are not going to work <laughs> anymore. Yeah. That that's a, that's a strike. So okay. you are on, on a strike on on Sundays. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I see. I see. Okay. All right. Good. What about the rest of you? Anything interesting? Anybody did something fun on the weekend? Teacher, in my case, that's um, where was they birthday? And was fantastic. Um, in my family, arm, arm, and art with balloons. And this was a great surprise for him. And other aspects interesting. Will, bueno, my um, brother lost the number for the cake, and we can found it. Sir, you your brother lost the number for what? For the cake. Because, oh, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. And we can found it. And really found. <laughs> oh no, and what did you do? That was it. Huh? Mm, nothing. You didn't do anything. <laughs> only with the cake. Only with the oh, with the cake. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. But that was interesting. And was funny. <laughs> funny and fun at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Only that. Good, good. All right, what about the rest of you? How was the weekend? Tell me, anybody? Did something out of the ordinary, something fun? Uh, in my case, in my case um, I went on Monday for dinner. And, uh, and give me a, a gift, only that. <laughs> Oh, they gave you a gift. What what gift did they did they give you? Uh, ¿cómo se dice? Per perfume. A per perfume. A perfume. Oh, interesting. What kind of perfume? Eh, parejito. Oh, okay. Wow. Do you, do you uh, like Paris Hilton uh, perfumes? Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, did you give a present or just you received the present? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't give a present? No idea. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, but you received one. <laughs> good, good. Okay, guys. Um, well, I'm glad to hear that um, you guys had fun uh, on the weekend and that you were able to um, enjoy yourself because that's what it's about, right? Um, it's it's about having fun, you know. And and speaking about having fun and um. How many of you guys like to go to parties? I mean, before the pandemic. Nobody likes to go to parties?
Really? Nobody likes to go to parties. No hay nadie aquí que le gustan las fiestas. I like it, but I, um, I um, couldn't, I couldn't go uh, by the pandemic. I, I was fear. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Because of the pandemic, we, we can't go, right? We, like, like we used to, like we wanted to, right? But, but before the pandemic, did you guys like to go to parties? Yes, I like it to dance. <laughs> ah, you like dancing as well. Hey, yes. we, need, we need Lorena here. We're, we're missing Lorena. You know, she would, she would definitely be saying uh, like to go to parties and everything. Okay. And... Um, Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you, you guys um, probably probably when you go to parties, you will notice that when you go to a party, um, you um, you uh, what's it called? Um, probably don't know everybody, right? When you go to a party, you probably don't know everybody, and when you don't know people, when you don't know everybody, um, it's important to, um, to um, well, to be able to identify people at a party, even if you don't know them, right? So, um, just give me a second. Okay, so what we're going to do today is the following. Um, we are going to be, um, I'm going to be sending you, remember that uh, for the, um, for Thursday, we learned about I'm using participles and prepositions to identify uh, people. Do you remember that? We saw that that topic on Thursday. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, we are going to be, uh, well, I'm going to be sending you through the WhatsApp. I'm going to be sending you the, um, the picture that I want you to describe. Okay. And what you're going to do, I, let me actually send it to you right now. Let me do that right now. Okay, um, can everybody see the picture I have sent you in the in the group? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be working in groups. And what you will do is look at the picture. Okay, you're with your group. And you're going to be choosing people at the party. Okay, this is a party. And you're going to be choosing a person at the party, but you have to describe what the person looks like by describing either like where they are, where they are in the room or what they are wearing. Okay. Um, or what they are doing. Okay. For example, let's say that, um, Let's say that I wanted to, okay, I choose one person there, and I say, um, she's the girl wearing a green t-shirt and a ponytail. Can you identify where she is? 
she is the girl wearing a green t-shirt and a ponytail. Do you understand what a ponytail is? No teacher. What's mean? That's a ponytail. A ponytail is when you when you take your hair and you put it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's a ponytail. This right here? That's a ponytail. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Thank you, teacher. The, the orange hair? No, she's actually, she's the girl with the blonde hair. Orange Can hair. Can you who she is? ¿Ya la encontraron? Orange hair. With hat. No, she doesn't have orange hair. Okay, I'll repeat. I'll repeat. She's a girl in the green t-shirt and the ponytail. She is the girl that or she is a girl um with blonde hair yeah. the sweater pink no i'll repeat that, that. she's the girl listen she is a girl in the green t-shirt and the ponytail. The she, it, she's a girl with blonde hair. Is the girl between in the boy and the man in the right? In the sofa. No. No. She's yeah, exactly. She's on her on the right, on the bottom right. Exactly in the corner. She's in the corner. Do you see her? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So that's what you're going to be doing with your with your partner. You're going to be compare, or you're going to be sharing the description using prepositions and participle and. Pa and present participles. For example, what I told you, she is the girl wearing a green t-shirt. Wearing. I-N-G, right? She is a girl with blonde hair. The with is the preposition, okay? So you're going to do that and you're going to be seeing if you can, um, you can find the correct, the person in, in the, in the picture. Do you understand what to do? Yeah, it's clear? Yes, yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to get you to work uh, in pair, sorry, in groups. Let me create the groups right now. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm going to open it up and you're ready. Go ahead and join your groups.
Okay. Isael, you have a picture? Yes. Okay. You start? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Aquí estamos. Yo también. <laughs> you have a picture. Yes. Eh. Eh, 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 she is a girl eh, with eh, blonde hair and green pan. Green pan. Um, beer in front hair? In front she? Yes, este tiene uh, have um, the radio oh, in your hand. Yes, uh, sent, she have it in front the table. Uh huh. Okay. Um, she, no, he, he, uh, no, he, 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 uh, man, será así, wearing that sweater orange and Pants yellow and, and yellow yeah. pants. Yellow pants. Okay, thank you, thank you. And he he is in the sofa. <clears throat> exactly. Okay. Hoy tú, este, Israel. Okay. He is. He is a man. He is with no. He is listening music with her. Okay, you have you make sure you say he is the the man. She is the girl. It's it's the girl that. Or sorry, I said it's the girl who. Uh, oh, but no, better said. Um, it's she's the one who. You gotta be using those kind of things, and then use the verb in the ing form or a preposition. Preposition. This is what we learned on Thursday. We're just practicing. Okay. He is wearing um no he 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 has a uh, orange hair with a cell phone in her hands. The boy in front of the table and sit in front pizza. Yeah. Please. Okay, um, vamos. 
Okay, the, the ways you're going to start are what we learned on Thursday, right? Um, so you can say, for example, let me write, let me write in the chat. Um, she's the girl. Is she, is she or is she? Or he's, or he's the guy. Or, um, or she um, is the one, or he's the one. Okay, so you're going to start with, with any one of those, okay? And then you continue using the ing form. Uh, with um, like for example she's the girl wearing she's the girl dancing he's the guy watching he's the guy mm. sitting or she's the one in the um, the blue dress she's the one okay. with the um, with the blonde hair he's the one uh, on the couch, he is the one in the corner, etc., etc. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, continue like that, and I'm gonna come back in a moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, she is the girl, and the one. Hi. In the corner, in the corner of the table. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. That's right. <laughs> okay. <A> two point. Um. <laughs> he wears a hat. Pur purple. And has a game in his in her arms, and wears a um, t-shirt green and choose green. Okay. Remember, you hair. have to use uh, what the structures that we learned on Thursday. So I'm going to write in the chat how you're going to begin. Okay, so that you you can remember this. Um, Okay, so you're gonna start with, like for example, um, so she's she's the girl. He's the guy, or. She is the woman. Or he's the one. Okay. And then after that, you can go ahead and use the verbs in the ing form or use um, the, the, the preposition. For example, She's the girl wearing the blue dress. He's the guy um, sitting on the couch. She's the woman um, with the with the ponytail. He's the one in the corner, right? So like that. Okay. The chair. Does that make sense? Yeah. We don't use a, we don't use a, uh, who is? Who is? Yes. Uh, no. Who is she? No, no, who we is? don't need to, no, no, no. That's actually what we're learning here, that it's not necessary to do that. 
Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. But you have to, but instead of saying who is, um, you would just, you would have to use either the, the um, present participle, you, so the verb with the ing form, or, or, or you're going to use a preposition. Okay. Okay, teacher. I can I try. She is the gear that wearing hat purple with blonde hair and wears a teacher wing. Shoes and wearing and wearing shoes and wearing a green t-shirt. Uh, and wearing green teacher and green teacher and green shoes. Just what? <laughs> and she has a uh, games in her arms. Games. Games like uh, in the um, yard. Um, gift and in front of the pizza, <laughs> and he wearing um, a light blue uh, t shirt. Yes, yes, okay. And he's and he is wearing, right? <laughs> he's wearing, salió? <laughs> he is wearing a, a light, a light blue t shirt. <laughs> Okay. Out of nothing, out of I just out of the cloud, I came out. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed it. Cuando menos se lo esperan, puff, I yell. It's magic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Forget that okay. I'm here, ignore me. Okay. Um, it's the Mm -hmm. other, 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 other. Okay. It's a, it's a man having in your hands a balloon, a balloon, the um, bonnie. It's men uh, make make a fig figures make with the balloon. Sorry, it has to be the verb in the ing form. Making, making. Ah, okay, okay. okay. It's the men making uh, the the balloon figures or forms. Is a is a clone. No. Uh, is a, is, he's is, in from a child and making and making figures with the balloons. Yes, it's a clown balloon. next next to clown. Not, not balloons, but balloons. Balloons. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. The, cl the clown is next to balloons. Ah, Claude is, is, is payaso, no? Uh -huh. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Other? Can, can you see the gear wearing? The shirt pink and have a have a ay, taza de café, um, coffee of tea, coffee. a coffee tea, uh, and cup have a coffee tea, cup of coffee. Yes, coffee coffee cup. It's next to the cake, birthday. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, coffee cup is the name of the place. So be oh. careful. <laughs> okay. Coffee cup is like saying Starbucks, right? So okay. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. This is the name of Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. um, can you see the man use uh, wearing a black cup? Yes, he carrying a uh, um, a hot uh, pancakes. <laughs> Remember, he is carrying. He Don't forget the is. He is carrying a, a hat of pancakes. 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 Yes. What is he doing? Uh, reading. Reading. Yes, yes. Okay. Leer. <laughs> the person ke Violet Cake. No, es Papa. Cake, 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 perdón. Capo. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. The person is with with the, the song. No, with the the boy, and use the orange blue. Mm, orange blue. Uh huh. That's what I was gonna ask. What What do you mean by orange blue? Orange blue? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, is the person? No, no, don't. Is is? Um... No, sorry, sorry. The person okay. has um. No. The person is is uh, I no um person what is next to the window next to uh, he is reading and he have a couple of violets. Mm, is, well, is it's she, the only is the, it's a the she. one man. The people pay attention. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is eating fish? Who is what? Who is eating fish? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Eating fish. Mm, I think. <laughs> the penguin. I think. Yes. <laughs> what? Remember that it's yes. not a question. It's not who is it's eating fish. fish. It's the person e um, eating fish, or she's the girl eating fish. Okay. Okay. Does that make, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. I have one. The... Uh -huh. Where is the the chicken? The chicken in front of 
No. The it's chicken, chicken on the table. Yes. In front oh, of <laughs> the person. In front of the person blouse and... orange. <laughs> She has he or he he uh, he take a pizza. Yeah. Okay. All right, to the, I just want to I just want to make sure that you understand how to do this activity. You're, okay. What you have to do here is use the present participle or the um or the what's it called the present participle or the preposition so you're going to be using words like cheese i'm going to write in the chat cheese, the, girl, okay. or the woman okay then you're going to say whatever it is he's the guy or the man or um, the one or he's, he's the uh, one. So that's what you're going to start all the sentences like that. She's a girl she, or she's the woman. He's the guy or he's the man. She's the, she's the one. He's the one. Or, or maybe we can say, um, she is the person, and then we're going to be using the ing form or, uh, or preposition. For example, she's okay. a girl wearing a white dress. Oh. Uh, he's the man um, dancing. He's the one in the corner. She's the one on the couch. She is the person. Oh, sorry. She's the um, she is the person uh, uh, in, in the corner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Okay. Pronouns, article, preposition. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to use the preposition or the, the, um, the present participle, right? So, um, so use the both of the ING, in other words. Okay. Okay, continue well, like I'm not here. Ignore me. Hola? Hello? Repeat, please. Okay. The person looking at the te the table the table. The table, creo que. Looking at the table. What is the person looking at the table? Eh, Looking on the table. Eh, perdón, perdón. ¿Cómo se pronuncia tablet? Sorry. Table. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the person. Uh, what is? Is. Um, is it sitting is sitting on the sofa on the green sofa between between 
uh, on the, picture. The, or, yes, on the, how do you say penguin? <laughs> penguin. 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 In the penguin. Pango. The pronunciation is pango. 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 Okay. The what? Uh, I think it's pango for the pinguino picture. For the what? For pinguino, I remember it's pango. I don't know. No, it's penguin. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. The person eats hockey. What is the person eats hockey? It's hockey. Okay, so I think I have everybody here or the majority of you are here. Okay, so um, how did you feel with this exercise? Did you understand it? Did you have any problems? I, I believe the problems is the conjugations, the phrases, because I don't um, it work. It don't I don't so I, I I don't know because of speaking in English. For example, um for example penguin. I saw the penguin in the pictures. Um, ponche in English, I don't know. Okay, uh, so you mean you mean the vocabulary was difficult? Yes. Okay, okay, yes. but what you had to do was not worry about so much other things like like the penguin or the fruit bowl or the fruit punch or things like that. It was mostly the people. You had to concentrate on the people. So you would have to say, for example, she's the girl wearing, he's the guy um, eating, um, or uh, she's the one sitting on the couch, for example, or she's the one on the couch, or he's, um, he's the man um, in the corner. So all you have to do was describe the location or what the person was doing or wearing. That only that. Okay. Does that make but, sense? But I used to, but I used to, uh, pronoun. A pronoun. Yes. Pronoun for next to no preposition a corner prepositions prepositions like in on next to um what else uh, over in front in front of mm -hmm. those yes from off is preposition no, Pre uh, pronouns no? are like, like, um, for example, me, that's an object pronoun, me, him, her, um, it, us, them, those are object pronouns. Okay. Okay, any other questions? No questions. Nothing? 
Not in chess. Okay, all right. Since there's nothing, um, okay, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, uh, Noemi. It's my pleasure to, to help you guys. Um, now, before we finish off the class, I want to know, um, did everybody, okay, well, better said, um, I want to, I want to do the, I want, I want to throw the poll at you again to see how we are in the platform. So I'm going to send the poll right now. Um, I'm going to launch the poll and I want you to remember the idea is to check all of the sections you have finished. So, por favor, ponga un chiquecito en todas las secciones que ya, ha, ya han completado. O sea, si la han completado, eh, ponga el chiquecito. Aunque, uh, um, o sea, no es que solamente van a escoger una. Espero que, que escojan si es posible toda, ¿verdad? O la mayoría. So I'm going to launch the poll right now. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, I am finished the final exam, but in the um, in the section D, I have a problem with the third sentences with the order. You having problems with what? I have problem with the third sentences with the order section d third sentence you said right yes Is that correct Es que lo he intentado de mil formas y siento que yo sé que pues está bien, pero no sé si me he equivocado en algo, pero no me da con ninguna. Ahí hay que cuidar, bueno. los, hay que cuidar los espacios, lo de los puntos, las mayúsculas. Por una sí. cita, yo tenía una mala y era porque le ponía el punto y era sin punto al final. Porque ya lo tenía en la parte de la, del detalle de las palabras que hay que estructurar. Um, yeah. I have two problems too. Okay, just give me a moment, give me a moment. Um, with that question, that, that specific question, that one still has not been, um, it has not been fixed. So you still have to, uh, you have to keep in mind that it's not eighth, it's height. H E I G H T. So you got to be careful about that. Okay? Um, so, I, o sea, este es un problema de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, se lo mencionaba la vez pasada y se lo vuelvo a recordar esta vez, ¿verdad? Que, que la palabra no es eighth, como está ahí, sin, eighth es, es, es octavo, ¿verdad? Y no es eighth, it's Height, H E I G H T. I'll write it in the chat so that you so that you don't forget. Y todavía me falta una persona que no ha completado el el, el la, la encuesta. Um, okay, let me write in the chat. Okay, so not a Sorry, not on. Erase that. Not eighth, but correct is height. So try it like that, and maybe we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. Hoy sí ya me lo completaron todos. So I'm going to throw it. Que vamos a ver. Les, les va. I'm sharing the results. So as you can see there, uh, okay, very good. So so almost everybody is finished section one, two, three, four, 
Sin embargo, estoy viendo que hay todavía algunas personas que no han completado. Por lo menos hay dos personas que no han completado Section 1, 2, The Midterm, Section and Section 4. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que para el día de hoy tenían que haber completado hasta la, la sección 4? Ese es el, esa era la meta, completar hasta la sección 4. Eh, chicos, acuérdense que solo tienen 4 días, contando el de hoy. Oh, no, 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 miento. No son 4 días, son 4 noches, no más. Día, porque días son menos, son tres días, cuatro noches, las que hacen falta ahorita, porque tienen que haber completado para el jueves. Si usted no ha completado para el jueves, entonces eh, sí va a haber problema, porque aunque usted ha metido todos los documentos, no se va a completar eh, el, el, el continuar al próximo nivel y, y va a perder la, va a perder la, la beca. Entonces, pierde toda la oportunidad. Entonces, no queremos que eso pase. Así que pónganse, por favor, las pilas. Como les digo, tienen tres días, cuatro noches nomás. Es todo lo que tienen. Tiene que haberse terminado para el jueves a, a la medianoche. Uh -huh. Voy a realizar lo que es la sección 1, 2, 3, 4, la 5. Sin embargo, siempre me sigue apareciendo que solamente he terminado la 2, la 3 y la 4. Y el examen final. Pero 5, 1 el... y... ¿Cómo? Es que en el primero, cinco. creo que la última parte no tiene ponderación y creo que por eso es que no, no sale que lo hemos terminado. O sea, en mi progreso sí sale que ya lo terminé. Pero cuando estás, cuando vas, cuando te vas a meter un curso, sale, no me sale el cheque. And everybody has that problem? Porque, por ejemplo, a mí ya me sale el certificado. Oh, ok. Sí, ya me aparece. So you got the certificate. And is it yes. more than 80? More than 80%? 94%. Perfect. That's fine then. That's if you already got if you if you already got the certificate and it's more than 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 80%, no worry. It's okay. You're finished. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um solo se acuérdense una cosa. No Después de haber pedido el certificado, ya no se puede cambiar la nota. Así que si usted quiere, dice, ah, tengo un 82. Ah, sí paso. Puede pasar y todo, no hay problema. Pero usted dice, ah, quiero seguir practicando porque quiero mejorar la nota. Usted puede seguir practicando, pero ya no le va a generar una no mayor nota. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Okay, guys, so that is going to be all for today, and we're going to see you tomorrow, okay? So, take care. Teacher, I have any questions. Porque sí, eh, vamos a empezar un nuevo tema, y pues um, hay bastante información que se va a ver mañana. ¿Qué tema es mañana, teacher? The topic is sec from section five, the present perfect. Present perfect. Yes, correct. Present perfect. Okay. So that will be guys. Cuando inicia el otro curso? Well, the idea is for us to start next, next, um, uh, sorry, next Monday. That's the idea. But it's going to depend. It's going to depend if everybody has given the, the documents and has finished the, the platform. If you all pass, then yes, we're going to begin on next, next, um, next Monday. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, I have any questions.
I have any question, teacher. You have a question? Yes. I send the document uh, for the support, but I know a side answer. Okay, send a message and ask. Ask what is the status. Okay. Okay, any more questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Thank Good you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye